Okay, so I'm going to show you all of the camera features here in the new Super Duty. First thing you want to do is shift into reverse. So now you can see the rear 360 view is the default view. And this little view selector button here is going to expand to let me pick any one of a number of views. So we have the 360 view like I mentioned. We have a rear normal view, which can also be zoomed in, which is very handy when you're hitching up a trailer, a conventional trailer. We also have our wide angle view, which is good for backing up into cross traffic, out of a parking spot. Not as useful when you have a trailer attached, but very useful when you're maneuvering around. We have our center high mounted stop lamp view. Um, this one is obviously providing a good view into the bed of the truck. It also is very handy for hitching a fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. So you can see as I move the steering wheel, that center line is gonna move. And that's what I'm gonna use as I'm backing up towards my trailer to line it up to the ball. So this truck also has a trailer camera. So it's attached to the back of the trailer. And if I back up a little, you can see, I can see exactly what's behind my trailer. And so you can stop before you hit the curb or anything else for that matter. It's really helpful. A lot of people have been asking for a way to see behind their trailer when they're backing up. And then finally, we have the trailer reverse guidance system. So the first thing that you do after you activate this system is you select your trailer. You can store up to 10 trailers. So I just selected my trailer. Uh, I've already set it up. Normally there's a quick setup process and then once the trailer is set up, you're good to go. Uh, now this truck and trailer icon show up here on the screen. That means I'm ready. And as I back up and I turn the wheel, that icon is gonna show me where my trailer is gonna go. So you can see the white line is moving to show me which direction the trailer will go based on my steering input. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up and I'm gonna to try to back up to move the trailer to the passenger side or to my right. So I will turn my wheel to kind of get an idea where I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna start moving. And as I go, so I'm gonna straighten up a little bit to hold it, hold that angle. Now, see it's expanding to give me more view of where my trailer is actually going. If I keep going, I can, oh, someone's driving right by me. <laughs> I saw them in the camera though. Um, I can almost park right into one of these parking spots here. So now I'm getting in the yellow zone. You can see I'm, um, it's warning me that I'm getting a little bit too far. So I'm gonna turn my wheel the other way to try to recover um, a little bit. And I'll keep going. Now at this point, I'll probably have to pull forward to straighten up a little bit to get myself into that spot. But I got myself out of the yellow zone and now I'm just gonna ease in. And you can see it provides me a full view now so I can see. Now if I really want to see what's behind me at this point, I can also switch back to the trailer camera. And now there you go. I can continue backing up and feel comfortable that I'm not going to hit that curb. I actually prefer the reverse guidance view though because I'm not as familiar with trailer backing up a trailer. So once I select my trailer again, uh, there we go. I think I need to pull forward a little bit so I can, see. there we go. Getting into the parking spot here. And I'll switch back to the trailer camera. And So not perfect, but for a novice, not too bad. <laughs> Let me show you the front camera. You use that hard button right above the screen and this brings up the front 360 view. And again, you have your view selector button. You can either select that one, you can select the front normal view, 
or the front wide angle view. And again, it's real handy for knowing what's directly in front of you. In a truck of this size, it's hard to see what's right in front. So with this camera, you can know that you're confident you're not gonna hit those cones out there or whatever it else. If, there's, if you're on a work site and there's some equipment, you can feel comfortable that you can maneuver around it. What's all also has the wash feature, is that right? It does, yeah, I can wash it if you'd like. Do you wanna see, mm -hmm. see it live? Oh, oh, wait, where's the wash? There we go. There, so it just <laughs> washed the camera for you. Okay, so there's one other really cool feature about trailer reverse guidance, and we call it straight backup mode. So if you press the steering wheel button on the lower left-hand corner, you get a big steering wheel in the middle of your screen with a little blue at the top. That means you want your wheel to be centered. But as you start to drift to one direction or the other with your trailer, that wheel is gonna tell you which way to turn to straighten yourself out again. So I'm gonna start backing up, and I'm a little off. Actually, I'm gonna cause myself to veer a little bit and see now it's telling me turn my wheel to the right so I'm gonna do that and now center my wheel and I'm back on track again oh a little bit more to the right and now I'm back on track again this is really handy when you're trying to back up your truck and trailer in straight alignment And then if you're backing up your boat, you could always go with that exterior camera shot on the back of your trailer, right? It's exactly. submersible. Yep. And I'm actually going to go back and show you that right now because I'm getting close to the curb, or at least I think I am. Yep. So I've got a little bit more room. I could keep going, but you can see, you know exactly when to stop. So there you go. So also new for Super Duty in 2017 is the remote trailer camera and also the trailer tire pressure monitoring system. And these two systems come in a kit, very easy to install. When you do buy that kit, your dealer is going to actually replace your standard 7-pin connector with this new connector that has the 7-pin and also a new 12-pin connector. That 12-pin is used to hook up to the camera system and the tire pressure monitoring system. So you still have the traditional 7-pin, but you have some additional functionality there as well. So Trailer Reverse Guidance does require a brief setup process with a sticker. Um, when you buy the vehicle, you'll get several of these stickers um, that come with it, as long, along with an instruction guide and a, a measurement card. So once you take some measurements, you can place the sticker and then you'll enter the measurements into the driver information display. Uh, but they're pretty simple. You find a clean, level spot on the trailer, you place the sticker, and then you take a, uh, four measurements. One of them is from the license plate to the center of the sticker. One of them is from the hitch ball to the center of the sticker. I'm going by memory, so please make sure you refer to the guide and the videos online at trailerreverseguidance.com for all the details. Um, but there's one that goes from the tailgate all the way to your axles. Um, and you'll just take those measurements using a tape measurer. There's a little handy card that comes with your quick start guide where you can write the measurements down. Then you go in the truck, enter them in, and you're all set and ready to go. So we also have the trailer camera. Right now it's mounted to the back of this trailer. Um, and it's a really cool bracket design because you can either mount it on the top or on the back of the trailer. The camera is hinged. You can change the position and you just put in a little screw to pin it in place in, in position that you would like. And what wire links does it uh, come available with? Um, I believe it is comes with a 48 inch what a 40 foot wire um, but there's options to get 38 or 58 depending on what you need you can buy the uh, optional wires at the dealership mm -hmm.